<laughs> it's not easy being evil. And evil's what I be. Choke on it. Hello my fellow felons, it's your old insidious insect host Zorak, and welcome haha, ha, come to yet another Australian edition of Dead Rap, where we cover the darker side of the land down under. Now then, let's bring out my next guest. One of the biggest big game baddies on the black market, considered to be an outback nightmare, the Tasmanian terror himself, Mr. Percival C. McLeach. And now, on with the show! <laughs> hey mates, my name is Percival C. McLeach and for those of you who don't know, I am a pedal poacher. Now what is a pedal poacher you ask? Well I'll tell you. A pedal poacher is someone who hunts down and kills animals for their feet. That's right, I pride myself on hunting down animals and stripping them of their steppers, and then I sell said steppers on the black market for the highest bidder, proving that there are other uses for feet other than sexual orientation. Oh yes, there's nothing like hunting down the rarest of the rare foot furries in the Speakonia community. Business is booming and I make a shit ton of money stripping hides and heels more than lining up to collect Australia's precious source of income, the dole. Ha ha ha. But now let's get to the reason you came ha, ha, ha came here to this talk show, and that's to learn that I have recently been recruited into the infamous group of footophobes, known as the Anti-Foot Faction, who has just recently established an Australian branch of their swell group, with their leader being the menace of Mount Warning himself, Hexus, the biggest footophobe in Australia. And I've gotta say, ever since I became ha, ha, ha came a member of said group my pedal poaching business has skyrocketed tremendously. Being part of the anti-foot faction has helped me in finding some of the mandible wildlife on my top game list, as most of my cuticle quarries are part of several Speakonia groups and organizations. You may notice that at the top of my list are the following, Skeppy the Bush Kangaroo, for his infamous Aussie foot porns that have been streamed all over the internet, Danny Dingo, who is responsible for selling out the largest number of furry foot fags across the globe with his green patch brothels, plus his pimp hand alone, should make me a killing on the black market, and quite possibly the rarest ashy animal of them all, Tabaluda. This rare loafer lizard makes the bunyip look like a common household pet. Last I heard about Tabaluda, he was just recently recruited into some pod affiliate group led by a couple of French people. Erg, getting that cuticle cash cow from those fucking Frenchies will be no easy task, but I love a good challenge. Link. Of course, being a member of the anti-foot faction I have to reframe myself from depenalizing the non-human members of our group. In fact aside from my poaching skills, I am also in charge of tracking down potential anti-ashy animals for our swell group. For instance, I just recently tracked down all three Disney versions of Shere Khan from the Jungle Book, and added them to our swell ranks. Ahemaha. Also I was such ha 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 successful in obtaining the three hyena characters Shenzi, Bonsai and Ed from the Lion King into the long list of Sam's Bunyan Beasts. Of course, my hunt is not just limited to bush animals, there are some other corn critters across the globe I hunt after, such as Pantyhose Tahiro, whose juice and code form is a rarity within itself, all the cartoon versions of Sonic the Hedgehog are also on my game list. I would go after the next mutation turtles, if not for the fact that my arch competitor Simon Bone Steel didn't already have dibs on them, and then there's King Koopa, who I hear just joined up with the East Blue Equinox, as both a badass member and a pedal prostitute. So anyways, to all the ashy animals and mandible marsupials in the Speakonia community, you'd best watch behind your backs, because I'll be on the hunt, and I won't be holding back. There is a new enemy to footfuckers, and his name is McLeach. Ha 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 ha. Anyways, back to you Zorak. Percival McLeach ladies and gentlemen. Well folks, be sure to tune in next time when we interview a member of No Man and one of the most infamous mad scientists in Danville. Anyways, later all my vile villains, I am Zorak, and it's good to be there. Ha ha ha.